everybody, this is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, coming to you here from my casa. Haven't left to the studio yet. Let me open the blinds here, because we need some, we need some light. Yeah, we need some light. Good morning, good morning everybody, this is Jose Trujillo, getting ready here to, to live in a little bit. Been having a little cold, been having a little cold, it's uh... Just a little mild sniffles. Achoo! Little sniffles. <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> so, guys, I wanted to talk to you about something really interesting today. Uh, this morning I wake up to an email. Uh, I wake up to an email from these people that were trying to sell me on uh, exhibiting my work. They're trying to exhibit my work. That's what they say, that they want to collaborate. They want to collaborate with me. And I'm like, oh, really? That's awesome. Hey, baby. They say that they want to collaborate with me. This, this, this thieves, I call them thieves. This, this, this thievery yeah. is happening in... Uh, I love it. This thievery happens a lot if you're not aware of, if you're not, if you're not careful... There's this artist predators. The artist predators. They're looking out to take a buck from you. Or a few bucks. And I think that they realize how how much artists want to exhibit, right? I think they know that. How much artists want want to exhibit, how desperate many artists are to to try to get in the door of a, of an exhibit, an exhibition. And <clears throat> so they take they take every measure to to basically steal from artists. This is the kind of stuff that just you know blows my mind because a lot of artists still fall for it. So here's what the email said, basically, right? Hey, I was looking at your I was looking at your some ambiguous thing at your Online portfolio. Like, who the fuck has an online portfolio? I don't have an online portfolio. Like, first of all, you know, some generic stuff. Like, I was looking at your online portfolio, and then we really like, we saw what we really, we saw, you know, we like what we saw, and we wanted to invite you to exhibit with us, and blah, blah, blah. And it all sounds like they're going to make your dreams come true, right? And then they say, I'm only going to need 1,200 pounds from you, and 30% of the commission. You know, thirty percent of the com of the of, of commission earnings, right? Whatever you sell, you got to give them thirty percent. But first of all, you got to give them twelve hundred pounds. I don't know how much that. How much is that in dollars? Is it like is it like two thousand bucks? Some shit like that. I don't know. Uh, so they ask for they ask for money right off the bat, right? They're like, oh, we're a gallery, blah blah blah, and I, I'm gonna call them out. I'm gonna call them out. I'm gonna I, first. I'm gonna find the name because because I didn't want to check the email anymore. I hated it. Uh, but I'm gonna call them out. This this lady. I'm gonna call her out too, because they're stealing from artists. I dislike it very much. I don't like it. It's 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 unethical, and it harms artists out there. Artists that believe that they can be helped, they're actually being uh, they 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 they're, they're preying on them. They're preying on them, and <coughs> this has been going on for many years. I've had this happen to me before, right? Uh, I don't pay attention to any of those things, but when I get an email, I tell them a piece of what I of what I think. <laughs> so then the lady has the, I don't know, she has the face, as we say in Spanish, to to contact me back and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. You know, it seems that with your with your attitude, I don't want to work with you, anyways. You know, we wouldn't get along or something." I'm like. What the fuck? Am I in an alternate universe? Have I just been kofefe? Kofefe. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Um, first of all, they're preying on artists, telling them to give them money so that they can exhibit, right? So their their ass is covered. You know, if if I tell you, hey, just give me some money, and we'll see what happens. Huh? Huh? We'll see what happens. Then my ass is covered, right? Not yours. So first of all, their ass is covered. They ask you for, for 1,200 pounds just to start out with. 
And then they'll ask you for 30% of everything you sell. So their ass continues to be covered, right? And then guess what? You have to pay shipping both ways, right? Because you have to. That's part of business. This is the kind of thievery, thievery, if that's a word, thievery, stealing thieves out there, lurking, these little thieves. They're like, oh, I see an artist. I'm going to go fuck with this artist. That's all they're doing, guys. Pay attention. Ojo, as we say in Spanish, pay attention. Look, no one's going to save you. No one's going to rescue you. No one's going to make your dreams come true. Zitty Grams, that's my wife, that's my girl right there. She says, uh, when they charge you to exhibit, they just, they're just generating money from the artist and uh, aren't committed to generating sales. Absolutely, that, that is a sale, right? They're selling to you. They're such assholes. I hate them. I can't stand them. They're, sell, they're selling to you so that you can give them money, you know? You can give them money and then they don't go sell your artwork because what, what for? What's the point anymore? Right? They already got what they want. They already made the sale. This happens so much and artists fall for it so much. Artists continue to fall for it. So I told the lady, I was like, you guys, you guys are thieves. You know, I never gave you my email. Don't be contacting me. Uh, and she's like, she's like, well, we're not going to get along anyways with your attitude because I got an attitude. And I was like, I got an attitude towards thieves. I, I, got, an, I, I got an attitude towards, towards horrible people. I'm trying to help artists and you're trying to you're trying to steal from them. I'm trying to help artists every fucking day. I wake up and I'm trying to bring value to artists. I'm trying to bring a little piece of something, something that I've learned, something that some experience. Maybe maybe I'll I'll show you how I paint little trees. Maybe I'll show you how I mix paint. Maybe I'll maybe you can watch one of my thousand over a thousand videos on YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to help artists. It is very rare when I'm like buy my shit and when I'm when I'm asking people to buy my shits because I'm actually bringing them value. Because I'm actually giving them, I'm trying to give them something. It's not something for nothing. And by the way, I believe that whatever I'm offering when I sell something, it's 10 times more than what I'm asking for. That is my rule of thumb. It's got to be 10 times, it's got to be worth 10 times more than whatever I'm going to ask for. Otherwise, I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to even attempt to try to sell it. It's got to benefit the buyer. 10 times more than me. That's why I don't get along with these people because they're, 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 they're praying artists. Zeddy Grant says they're in the business of selling exhibits and not selling the artist's artwork. Yeah. It's the lie of the gallery system. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that is what the gallery system does. <coughs> and, and definitely not all galleries work like that, but so many are working like that, you know, and, and just about any other asshole wakes up one day in the morning and goes, oh, my God, I know what to do. I'm going to start selling artists for exhibit space. Like, like, think about it, artists. Please wake up. They're trying to sell you, not a collector. They're trying to sell you to give them money. When the real job was to get collectors to buy your work. And, and, then, and then they take a cut. That is fair and square. But I don't care if they take 50. I don't care if they take 60%. I don't care. Whatever they do. Um, but that's fair. You know, it's, it's the right thing to do. I don't know about fairness, but it's the right thing to do. You know, if, if someone says, if, if someone's selling a $1,000 painting and, and I'm in that business of selling your work and then I go and I find someone that wants to buy that thousand dollar painting, I made my efforts, right? My list, my whatever. I made that effort. And then and then I'm like, here's this buyer. Ready, man? Yeah. I'm like, here's this buyer. I bet you know, if I'm in that business, I better take 50% of that sale. Because that's how that works. Yeah. That would have made me so mad. Huh? Yeah. I, I, I get those I get those emails from time to time, you know? And Usually I brush them off, but I wanted to make a video about it because, because I think that artists need to know about this kind of stuff. Well, we've <coughs> I've fallen prey on them before. When I was starting out, I was invited to New York and this and that, and they're just thieves. They're a bunch of thieves. They're not trying to help you. They're trying to steal your money, your hard-earned money, money that you actually need, that you need to market your own work. 
to to buy supplies, you know, to buy to 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 uh, to expand your brand as an artist. Money you need. They're trying to take it from you, and and basically what they do is that they take your paintings and they put them in a in a in a they, they storage them for a month, right? They store them, guys. Like like, I I know this shit. They store them, and then they 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 set a little. Like, like if they had exhibit them and they take pictures and then they send you pictures back. It's, 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 it's really messed up, but it's happening a lot. So anyways, guys, I just wanted you to be aware of that. Be aware of that. And if you encounter those, 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 those thieves, those assholes, <clears throat> tell them what I, tell them use, what I told you. Use that $2,000 to set up to go rent a space in your in in like a busy part of your community yeah yeah use use those use those two thousand bucks like my wife said right now instead of giving them to some thief that is going to promise you a gallery space <laughs> uh or, or or booth space use that money guys to go and and buy art supplies uh buy some 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 marketing of some sort uh <clears throat> pay someone to help you push. Get a friend to help you push uh, the product out there. I don't know, whatever. Use it for Facebook ads. Use it for you. Use it for you. Don't don't for you. Don't don't give it to some asshole that is trying to take it. That is trying to promise you that they're going to exhibit your work because they're not. This uh, there's there's a lot of these galleries. They're called vanity galleries. They they're not even real galleries. There's, it's just some 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 idiot that rented a space. And it's preying on artists, and, and there's thousands of them out there. So be careful, guys. Pay attention. All right? Uh, I got to go to work. Oh, man. Let me close this. I'm going to get some coffee. Can I stop and get some coffee for my love? Yeah, but we're going to go. All right. Peace, guys.